Eskom is obviously a challenge. Uh, the, <clears throat> the load shedding issues that we've experienced towards the end of last year and that we're experiencing basically every day now, where we're asked to shut down, is a serious challenge to us. So, so we can't affect the furnaces, but downstream, the mills, we have to shut the mills for the, for the times that we're asked to cut back. And our calculations, uh, when we run them through, and I'm sure you ask me, uh, as, as Harmony disclosed, uh, if you cut off uh, Thunderbell Park at the hot strip mill and you cut off uh, and downstream and you cut off Newcastle from the billet mill and down, uh, the rod mill and down, you're going to lose in contribution about one and a half million rand per hour. That's what it costs us. So, so it's a serious issue for us. It's a serious issue for the country. Pass come at any point in time and they will tell us that we have to reduce um, 10 or 20 or 30 percent from our current um, usage, which means um, if, for example, we are running in a shutdown or we're having a shutdown and we want to come back out of the shutdown with some energy intensive uh, production uh, um, facilities, we cannot do this um, because we haven't used that when they were calling us. So we have a double whammy, we need to shut something down additionally. Um, when Paul is talking about plant load shedding, then should I know that um, tomorrow morning from 9 to 2 or from 9 to 22 hours, whatever it is, I need to use maximum of X, Y, Z megawatt hours or megawatt and <coughs> I can organize myself accordingly. I can put my shutdowns in that period and I can have a less production loss.